um okay good morning and let's see what's going on hopefully you can hear me okay please let me know if there's any problems uh just purely because we had a little sound issue with my camera uh my computer the other day so i just want to make sure that i can hear everybody and that you can hear me <laughs> Don't, all right first of all <coughs> don't make me laugh because that lovely dreaded cough has come back to uh you know with a vengeance <coughs> so don't make me laugh but good morning janice good morning so lovely i live i'm laughing because i just saw ready to go and purchase the turquoise and rose gold i love that i love that so much oh no rachel you still got covid oh i'm sorry hopefully fingers crossed for a speedy recovery good morning star lovely to see you i do have coffee oh it's a little bit lukewarm but i'll take it i'll take it desperate times hi helena hi from sweden that's amazing hi well hi from bristol <laughs> doesn't sound quite as um exotic does it hi from bristol um but good morning i hope we're all good so we've got a wet and rainy Manchester. Well, I have to say, can you see this lovely natural sunlight coming through? We have beautiful blue skies and lovely sunlight streaming through, nice and fresh, a little bit nippy, but you know, um, so yeah, it's so lovely to be here. Um, and what a lovely day. Good morning from Michigan. Good morning. I've just put my phone on silent because you can guarantee, guarantee, that uh someone will call me they never call me except for when i'm on a live uh good morning uh, hang on I'll pop that back down good morning everybody might have to dash off plumber coming bathroom tap snapped off oh wow that doesn't sound good so good morning jan from uh sunny sudbury amazing okay so what's the weather like in sweden and what's the weather like in uh michigan let me know. I love weather checking. I love weather checking. I love to know what everybody has been up to. So it's so great to see you all here. Uh, blue skies in Swansea. Amazing. Um, so Joanne, good morning, Laura. Good morning, all. Sun is shining brightly and the wind is blowing. Oh, so beautiful. Jan, I'm loving these earring and pendant scent. Oh, I'm glad. Do you know, I'm really excited to do this. So we've done... Um, a little bit of wire work lately so i wanted to go back to chainmail so i'm really excited we've got quite a few chainmail projects lined up actually kitty and i have been talking so i'm excited uh cloudy and minus 1.5 degrees celsius oh no thank you <laughs> michigan is right now at 502 in the morning oh wow that's super early well lovely to see you good morning yolanda definitely feel you're going to need one of these strong copies in hand Oh, so sorry if I feel a bit, if I sound a bit snuffly. <coughs> it's just this lovely cold. You know, it's great. All these bugs going about. Um, okay, so it's great to see you all here. It is still nice and early. So I'm giving everybody a moment to come and join us, which is fantastic. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, Trish. It's so lovely to see you all here today. Great to have you come join me oh goodness me are we all good though apart from uh i know uh poor rachel's poorly still but other than that are we all good have we all had a lovely weekend or a lovely week um if i spend uh, what did we do this weekend oh, it's worrying isn't it do you not find it worrying when you kind of go what did i do this weekend um i genuinely i can't remember what we did that is a concern to me. <laughs> uh, good morning, Angela from Morning Laura from a very wet forefoot. I remember what we did. I remember what I did. I um, did um, one of my alcohol ink workshops. I do, um, for those of you who know, I do alcohol ink as well. I, I think you've commented before when I had um, the sugar skulls behind me so um i do alcohol ink and i actually was doing with my alcohol ink uh subscription club that i run i was doing uh christmas reefs well winter reefs i called it so yes we were doing that that's absolutely right my husband went to torquay 
because he does some photography and he's part of a camera club in Port Porter's Head. And um, they went down as a team because they had to enter all this work together. Uh, there was six or five of them, I think. And they went down as this team. And uh, they didn't actually get placed as a sort of a collaborative. But my husband got placed third out of 85. 85 photographers of which a lot of them were professional photographers um my husband doesn't class himself as a professional photographer uh just because it's not his job per se but he has got an amazing eye and catches some amazing photos so to be named third i thought was fantastic um and then sunday i can't remember what we did on sunday i think we mooched <laughs> we mooched um good morning from a very well fabulous then um oh we, well you know we have had to be fair absolutely torrential rain this week i mean it's been mental um oh thank you joanne yeah he was dead proud which he should be <coughs> i think we all do it don't we we um don't believe in ourselves and then it just takes that person to be like hey no this is awesome and um you know, I think he was very, very chuffed to be recognised. So, yeah. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, um, Angela, Judith, Camille. <laughs> I remember what I did yesterday, let alone the weekend. Honestly, isn't it a worry when you kind of go, yeah, so this weekend I did. And it's just, it was just a blank. And do you know what? I don't even know what I did on the evening. <laughs> I think we just chilled. Um, I think we just had a quiet family night. It's been a bit mental. My daughter's looking at colleges. Um, she's applied for a college. Um, and it's just because she's preparing for a mocks. So it's all very, you know. Oh, hi, Mandy. How are you? You've got an allergy too. Oh, do you know what? It's so annoying because I had this. As those of you know, I had this a little while ago. And it was so frustrating. And I kind of just got over it. And then my husband was like, mm, a bit poorly. And and then the next thing I know, it's all just hit me again. It's all got a nasty cough again. But, you know, these things happen. It's what it is. So, giving everybody a nice little time to come on in and say hello, which is fantastic. So, what we want to do next is have a little look at what we're going to be doing today uh, and what kits we have available. So, we've got a nice little mixture today of what we're going to be doing we're going to be doing the romanoff weave i so i'm just undoing something whilst we're talking just um we're going to be doing the romanoff weave now the romanoff is um basically it's a byzantine weave so the byzantine i think pretty much anybody who does chain mail will know the byzantine it seems to be like one of the first weaves that we learn and i also think it's quite a staple weave like it's very um you know it's used a lot um either as a start or generally as like um in a lot of sort of variants so you know like you've got bisey bees the butterflies that's byzantine you've got byzantine you've got box weave is just a variant of byzantine um you've got the romanoff by uh, you know there's so many variants so it's really really lovely to be able to do the romanoff again it's another uh, variant of the byzantine so it's just a really great staple to have hubby has had his cough since getting his covid jab early october finally got an appointment at the doctor's today oh sending um good uh healing healing wishes to him um do you know <laughs> i don't want to be controversial i'm not going to start anything i did uh, we had ours as well in october and it's but i just think there's lots of bugs lots of bugs going around lots of stuff you know it is what it is okay so let's have a little mooch. First of all, let me show you what we are making today. So we have got the Romanoff pendant. Now, this is a bit of a um, variant of the Romanoff as well. I will show you properly in a moment. So I want to show you it sort of. Um, it's a nice one to see with the tension. So this is one that really uh, works well with that little extra weight there. It pulls the tension down. Um, so the pendant is, again, a slight variation of the Romanoff. Now, the Romanoff itself, traditionally, I'm just going to show you it like this. Again, I will show you up close properly in a moment. But this is what we would call a traditional Romanoff link. So it's two Byzantine links framing a bead. Now, you can have... <laughs> Hi, 
DIY dreams. I'm not quite sure what I is. I just see pink waving. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I'm going to pop the camera over in a moment to show you. So the Romanoff itself is traditionally two Byzantine links together with a bead in the middle. And you can make bracelets out of it. You can do continuous links. You can really play about with this. The pendant I'm going to show you is just slightly varied, as in it's um, a little bit of a, of a, of a, just a little bit rogue, basically. You know me, I like to go rogue. Right. Good morning, Jose. How are you? Thank you, Joanne. Okay, so I'm going to switch the cameras over. Okay, so you can see here. So this is what I mean. I've done another version here with the black and the gold, a very lovely classic. <laughs> I'm also watching you on the TV. Hi. <coughs> oh gosh, it makes me laugh. Um, so you can see here we've got the black and the gold. Okay. And it is one that does need to have that tension. So it needs to have the tension, but you could put it in the center of a bracelet like this or center of a necklace. You could have it as a connector, but you do need that tension to be able to get it to sit how you want to sit. But you'll see as I showed you with it being on the necklace bust here the one is actually worn on a on a neck chain as it should be it will sit with that right tension <coughs> excuse me i'm trying not to cough <coughs> too much i do apologize okay so this is the actual traditional romanoff as such so this is the when she focuses Oh, it will focus. There we go. So the traditional Romanoff is effectively your two Byzantine links and then connected with a slightly, normally a slightly larger jump ring just to show the difference of the of the links. And you can connect them as you go along like this and you can actually have them uh, connected. Bear with me while she just silks herself out. Where have you gone? This one's a bit camera shy. This one does not want to play the game for me today. There we go. So you can connect them together like this if you wanted to and have them con continuously connected as a necklace or as um, a neck piece. But I absolutely love them just as earrings. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you the kits. I'm telling you this now so that you can see what we've got in the kits and the potential of what you can actually make with them. OK, so let me take you over to our our website hi nat how are you thank you have you had a nice break did you have a nice little holiday with your hubby okay i'm going over just going to share the page okay so as always we go over to totallybeads.co.uk okay and then we want to go into home and video tutorials you can see here it's called the Romanoff Gemstone Pendant. Now, I have also written a PDF for you to accompany this. So not only will you get the um, not only will you get the uh, recording of how to do it, which is obviously what we're doing now. And it's just available on our YouTube channel. Oh, amazing. I'm glad you had a nice time. We need a break sometimes, don't we? Um, so you can see here we've got the Romanoff. We've got... Um, the YouTube channel will be showing a demonstration. And then obviously we've got the PDF with this one because, you know, there's a little bit more to it. So I've done the PDF for you. You will get that as part of your kit. Um, so what we've got is a little bit of a deal at the moment. You can see here, if you buy any five, you'll get 20% off. So we've got some gemstone bundles that have been put together for you. So you can see here, for example, we've got the gemstone. Uh, beads only so you will get makes one set when used with Romanoff jump ring set so we'll go into that in a moment so you can see here that you get um, a 16 mil round gemstone so this particular one is amethyst and then you will get one two three four five of the eight mil round gemstones okay um, so that's what you get okay so 
then you will see here that there are some jump ring kits to accompany it. So what's really great about this is that you can choose your colorway. You can choose your gemstones and you can choose your jump ring kits as well. So you've got a nice option of being able to choose whatever combination you want to do. So, I mean, you can see here we've got I've chosen the black and gold, a very classic combination, but also the lovely rose gold and turquoise as well. So you can, as I said, make your own kits up. So the gemstone only kits themselves. You get one lot. And these beads are large. This is a 16 mil round gemstone. And then you get five, eight mil jump, uh, gemstones to go with it to make your earrings, to be able to make a pendant and your earrings. You will actually, oops, be able to make um, earrings. So you could actually make, make, a pair of earrings and a pendant my mistake yeah so a pair of earrings and a pendant so you would have um four for the earrings and then you would have a large and a small one for your pendant mina thank you very much for sharing that link i really appreciate that that really helps um hang on a minute i see a car. morning mina first of all good morning i just saw your morning um he has tried all sorts still covered a lot of skunk mina i'm interested in this turmeric will help him comment <laughs> i'm going to come back to that later because <coughs> i too am covered up <coughs> a load of rubbish <coughs> excuse me so we have got amethyst now all of these are the same i won't go into all of them but we have amethyst we have blue howlite we have carnelian which is beautiful for the winter stunning clear crystal quartz this would be beautiful for like a lovely bit of a new year's eve or a christmas party then we have the ooh green dragon agate i believe that is and then you have moss agate you have obsidian which is the one i've got here with the gold jump rings and then you have serpentine you also have um tiger's eye turquoise howlite which is what I have used. You have white halite and you have white onyx. So all of those range in their prices, depending on the gemstone. Oh, thank you, Mina. I'm, uh, any kind of help or advice to get rid of this bug will be greatly appreciated because it's driving me absolutely nuts. And the thing is, I don't feel poorly, but I'm just struggling, you know, like it just doesn't sound very nice. So any tips would be appreciated. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah they range from depending on the gemstone from basically 199 is the cheapest for the blue howlite and then you've got your 399 for your amethyst um i think that's the most expensive to be honest with you 399 i mean that's an amazing deal so with that remember if you buy any five you will get 20 percent off so amazing so then we'll go down to the jump ring so you've got your gemstones you need to make your your kits to go with it so let's have a little look. For example, I'm going to go at the black jump ring set. Now these are $8.99, as you can see. And it contains the jump rings and findings required to make the Romanoff pendant and earrings. There are no beads included with this pack. So just to be clear, you do need to buy your beads separately. Um, but this is all of the jump rings that you need. So when it says 6 mil and 8 mil, it, that is actually the outer diameter. So just remember when we refer to chain mail, we do often refer to the inner diameter, just in case I confuse you. The inner diameter is a 4 and a 6. The outer is a 6 and an 8. So that's that's all it is. Uh, you get eye pins, head pins, and some shepherd hooks as well. Plus, don't forget, you do also get a PDF, which I believe is about four pages of um, pictures uh, step by step on how to make the pendant and also a guide as to how to make your earrings as well so not only are you going to get enough jump rings to do your earrings your necklace um, and of course um, you know everything you need you will also get the pdf to go with that as well so there you have it in the uh, black you also have it in pretty much all of the colorways i believe that we've got so we've got the champagne gold, the gold, the rhodium, and we have the uh, rose gold and the silver. So again, as you can see here with the pendant as the picture, uh, you can see that we've got here 
the pendants just here you've got the earrings here as well so you have enough to be able to do that and you're going to have leftovers as well so you'll probably you know be able to make a little bit of a chain mail bracelet to go with it or something like that oops uh yeah so um yeah um right so bear with me one moment um that's everything you need your eye pins your head pins your ear and hooks amazing so let's come out of this and get started okay so okay the first thing we're going to want to do as i said is make lots of little byzantine links now we're going to make individual links and then we're going to connect them so i'm just reading the messages um a slice of lemon in hot black tea with a spoonful of honey you can also add a slice of lime to change the taste a bit the lemon and lime will help cut through the constant mucus same as turmeric that's really good joanne i i have actually bought some fresh lemons and limes and I have been drinking just hot water, lemons, freshly squeezed lemons um, and some honey. Um, I bought the limes for an alternative. So it's good to know it does work. Fresh grated ginger, fresh squeezed lemon, boil water, put in lemon ginger mix, add raw honey to taste, drink it a few times a day. And that will take the hoarseness away. <laughs> That's really good tips. So basically, um, yeah, the. Yeah, that's what I, apart from the ginger part, I have been doing that. So that's good to know. Although I did buy the lemon and ginger tea and then added honey into that. So, you know, it is real value, isn't it? And the colours are incredible. So you have such a great opportunity. Sorry, I'm just trying to stop my voice sounding so harsh. So you can choose whichever colour combo you want. Like I love the black and gold i really love oh, you can tell my colorways can't you i love copper rose golds and turquoise i think that's a beautiful statement um and let's be honest if you think so look at looking at the value here you've got the free night let's say we chose the amethyst for 3.99 and then you chose your kits at 8.99 so for that you're looking at what 12 13 pounds but you wouldn't i would sell these earrings for 15 pound you know just for the earrings and the pendant and the necklace as well is going to be more plus you've got leftovers so you have got amazing value here definitely um so let's go ahead and get started so <coughs> excuse me i would also say if if it was me i would also be considering um using you know look at different colors so let's be rebels and let's get some different color jump rings and let's ch change it up a little bit for you as well so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to use the let's go for black and gold got some gold i have got some black okay and then i will choose my connect one in a moment now we all know that I do love to use my jump ring opener. Um, we, you can get your jump ring opener also on um, Totally Beads. So these, <laughs> sorry, man, I've just seen your message. Lemon ginger tea is rubbish, needs to be fresh. No, you're absolutely right. To be honest, I have been drinking freshly squeezed lemon with honey and hot water. That is what I've been drinking at the moment. It's just a ginger I don't have. Um, I just kind of bought them as a potential. <laughs> but thank you for your brutal honesty, Melanie. I love that. Um, you like the carnelian one the best. The carnelian is beautiful. Let me show you the carnelian. Oh, and there's red agate as well. I think, or, well, I've got carnelian and red, red agate. So we can see here, look at this obviously everyone will be different and you don't know what you're going to get but look at these aren't these not just beautiful um absolutely stunning um what else have we got oh the dragon this i love this let me show you this look at this how beautiful is that bead i might oh i don't know if to use that we'll have a think about what bead goes into the middle in a moment uh the serpentine oh, i do love the serpentine maybe i'll pop the serpentine in 
that might look quite nice in there actually i think i'm going to go to serpentine so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i want is now you can use um like i like to make sort of larger jump rings with some aluminium wire or normal wire hi lucy how are you they are beautiful kits aren't they oh you love the carnelian the carnelian seems to be a popular one i love orange too though i have no judgment there okay so don't forget to check out the um don't forget to check out the um website for a jump ring opener if you don't already have one even if you do i definitely recommend getting more than one because i always lose mine oh no lucy you're poorly too there is so much going around at the moment so what i'm going to do is go ahead and open a pile of um jump rings so this is one of those where you're going to want some you're going to need eight open jump rings and then you go so basically each each link has 14 jump rings in it so about eight of those need to be opened and then the others closed okay and when i say closed i do mean to make sure that they are properly closed and i say that because we often think that our jump rings when we take it out of a pack like this we go oh yeah that's a closed one but when you look at it closely you'll see it's actually not let me see if i can get it to focus see how it's still slightly open so you it is always worth taking that time for a jump ring opening and closing them properly to make sure that they are nicely closed and seamless so i'm going to just go ahead and show you the um pendant and then we can talk about the earrings as well so it shouldn't take too long to make these it's relatively quick now i'm not going to close all of mine up properly i know i should but just for the sake of time, I'm not going to. But I would stress that you definitely, when you have them like this and it's slightly out of line, I just take my pliers and just give it a little wiggle and then have that nice and as it should be. So it doesn't take long and it's worth doing this for the prep. So you can see there, just taking that time. But obviously, I'm not going to do this for all of them. I'm just showing you now. You can see. Okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I've got my large jump ring. Now, you don't have to use large jump ring, a piece of wire, um, a food twist, you know. <coughs> the twist that you can get, like the plastic twist to tie up your, your food with, anything like that. Safety pin even, you know, will all work. So I'm going to take one of my open jump rings and I'm going to add on four closed jump rings. I don't know if you can hear but my dog is but is crying. Okay. Preparing everything first really makes all the difference. It 100% does make all the difference, uh, Mandy. It, it, it's a bit of a pain to prepare, but once you've done it, it's definitely worth it because it just makes the whole process a lot smoother. <coughs> so I've got my four jump rings on here and I've closed it. Okay. Now I need to double it up. So I'm going to take another jump ring and I'm going to come all the way through. And I'm just going to collect all four of those jump rings again. And then I'm going to close. So the rule of Byzantine, I have a couple of rules that I always remember. Oh, rest after I handed over host to Laura in the club at 12. Oh, Lucy, that's a shame. I'll show you after what I've made, actually. <coughs> Gosh, I'm sorry. Okay, so what you've got is two, four, six. So my rule for Byzantine is always, I always think of the rule of six and the rule of two. So for two, everything will be doubled. Byzantine, two, everything is doubled. So you will never have a single jump ring. So two, four, six oh are you mandy that's amazing oh i bet that'd be amazing i've heard he's actually really fantastic as well at these meet and greets he's like really sounds like such a lovely guy i cannot wait to see your pictures um so one two and three okay so my rule is everything's always doubled when it focuses come on camera 
And then the other rule is my rule of six. So basically with a Byzantine link, you have effectively, let me just remove this one and I can show you. Well, we, this is a sample of one. So you've got like a link and a half here. So a Byzantine is made up of two, what I call two knots. The camera's playing up, there we go, two knots. So there's one knot and there's the other. And you can see that this is one and a half Byzantine links because there's only a half of a link here. So I always think six jump rings will make up one half a link. OK, so there's six jump rings. So we're going to go straight in and we're going to make this into a half of a link. So to make that half a link, what I want to do is the top jump rings here, the black ones. If I said one, two and three. So the third pair. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to just let them open out either side. So it looks like a little figure of eight. And then I'm going to let them drop down. I'm just grabbing a bit of wire to show you. So I'm going to take that second pair of wires, uh, jump rings, and I'm going to let them drop. Bye, Yolanda. Have a lovely day. And hopefully we'll uh, hopefully you catch the replay. Let me know how you get on if you do make them. So I've got them here. And then what I'm going to do just with my hand is take that wire out and I just want to push the ones that I've just dropped. I just want to push them back up. OK, so now the second pair is on top and the third pair have dropped down are technically are in the middle. OK. So now what I want to do is open out that top pair, the, the ones that effectively are the middle. And you'll see, I always think of this as like a little rainbow. See the little arch just there? I always think it's like a little rainbow shape. And what I'm going to do is pop my piece of wire just straight through and show you. So I hold it like that. Can you see what I mean by it's a little, like, a little rainbow shape? And by putting that wire in, it locks it into that. And can you see that that is that first half of a knot, half of a Byzantine? So I now want to add two jump rings. The jump rings I'm about to add will be the central jump rings or the sort of the middle loose jump rings. Let me show you again back here. So if I show you on this link here. When she focuses. There we go. So there's your half a link. Now we're going to add two jump rings and the two that we add are going to be these two ones circles here, the connecting ones and then another knot so you can make a choice of what color or what size you want these to be but for the byzantine we want them to be the same size but i think i'm going to go ahead and make them gold so again hopefully you've got prepped jump rings take a jump ring and just go straight through okay so i'm going to go through and i'm going to close oopsie she says that was a user error by the way there we go very easy to fix and close and then remember our rule of byzantine everything is doubled up so i'm going to go through and double it up so we should have starting to see it coming together. OK, so now what I'm going to do. I need to add another four jump rings, so another two and two. So I'm going to take two black jump rings. And then two gold. I'm going to connect my black ones. To the gold ones here so i've got two one and two so remember in our rule of six we already know there's five jump rings there so we need to add another one and also remember in the rule of two we never have any single jump rings so that black jump ring needs to be doubled up So go through those two there. 
spin it around and collect these two here and close okay so there we have got two four six okay are we all okay so exactly the same as we did on this section hold it upside down drop those two here so they go down okay we've got them up open up that jump ring and whichever color you want to connect it with i'm going to connect it with the black jump rings and remember we double up okay there you have your completed byzantine link okay so let's do that again <laughs> you can take this off and it will be completely stable and it will be fine so because once it's locked in like this it's absolutely fine and it will not come undone so let's do another one so i'll pop that one there now remember for the pendant we need four for the, for the earrings you need six so again having that preparation really does make a difference i'm going to take an open jump ring and i'm going to add on four close one two three and four remember we double up i am going to go a bit faster for this because i would like to get them all done oopsie Catch those two, spin it around, and catch those two. No, you don't have to put them onto a handle if you don't want to, if you don't feel you need to. I just find it can be a bit easier for you to know exactly where you're going. But you can, of course, just use your hand and hold it in your hand. So let's get some jump rings ready. So again, this is where prep helps. Don't forget to shout if you've got any questions, any tips, anything like that. Right, so pop it down like so. Open it out. Catch those top two. Having it on a handle does make it just a little bit more stable for you. If you're not confident, then it can just make it a little bit easier to see what you're doing. And, you know, I'm doing this quickly. You would be taking your time. I should show you how quick it can be done. And we're assuming that I've prepped these all properly and that all of my clothes jump rings are properly closed. Okay. Because that really does make a difference. That looks very hard to do. It's not very hard to do. I'll do another slow one in a moment for you, um, Jose. But it really isn't. And don't forget, if you buy the jump ring kit with the jump ring packs for $8.99, you do also get a step-by-step -step, uh, PDF to show you exactly how it's all done. So don't worry at all. You will get that, uh, you will get that included as part of your um, jump ring deal. So, you know, the PDF itself is something that I would be selling for five five six pounds so i think to get that alongside the um actual jump rings to do the kit itself i think it's a, a great deal right okay so that's another one done so that's two i will slow it down again for you jose just so that you can see again exactly in fact let me do another one quickly and then i'll do them a slow version one two three and four okay i think what is probably the the, the the most sort of scary part of this is the folding them over but honestly when you're doing it it's actually very easy and i will point something out 
I could show you this on a larger scale and I will actually get some larger jump rings in a moment and show you on a larger scale. The problem with this one is that if you do this on a larger scale, it is definitely a jump ring, uh, a weave that needs to have a certain size of jump ring. So when you're doing chain mail, oh, amazing Trish, what did you order? Um, when you're doing chain mail, you will find um, that we use something called an aspect ratio. And that is basically an ideal size jump ring to use for certain weaves. And so some weaves, you can be a bit flexible with that and you can kind of use on any size or there's sort of, there's allowances and there are others that are very specific. So whilst you can do the Byzantine in a larger weave, if it's not completely locked in, as in like a continuous chain, you can lose the weave because it can uh, flip over and it needs to be stable. And so it actually is easier to do in the smaller uh, size jump rings in the correct ratio because it stabilizes for you. So you can see here that once you've got those jump rings through, it stabilizes. If I was to use larger jump rings, it loses that stability. I love doing chambers. Can't wait to do this. Ah, oh, Jam. Well, make sure you share because you know I love to see what you make. I think it's great to see what everyone gets up to. And this is a real. This is I've got to be honest. Romanoff earrings, in particular, are one of my favourites. I absolutely love them, and I think there's just so much potential and variety for them. So, yeah, this is fantastic. Um, fantastic deals, to be honest. Um, and exciting news is that I have spoken with Totally Beads and we have got more jump rings in in different sizes, which is fantastic. I'm so excited. We've been looking, you know, I've been waiting for this. It means that it opens up the, again, the possibilities of what we can do. That's okay, Jose, no problem. Okay, so we've got our one, two, three, and then we flip it over. So top pair drops down and it's very quick the top drop they drop down and then they literally push straight back up and you're fine you don't need to do much can you see that that little archway is more or less instantly there so just that quick motion actually makes it nice and easy to work this is where preparation works because i haven't got the jump rings opened so i'll show you that again just to show you there they are drop them down and literally push them and it it more or less does it straight away for you just wiggle that open a little bit more there's your little rainbow jump rings in i would definitely recommend getting um a couple of multi-packs um and i also think when you're learning chainmail having different colors can help you because visually sometimes having different colors helps you know your step, helps you know where you're going. Part of the reason I'm using two colors for you now so you can see what jump rings I'm adding now. But also, how fabulous does that look as an actual combination? You need some <laughs> Tonight, Jose, tonight. Got to get... I'm on the school run this afternoon. But after. <laughs> I do. You're absolutely right. I do love a hot toddy, a bit of honey whiskey and honey whiskey and hot water <coughs> serpentine white howlite amethyst turquoise howlite and obsidian trish that sounds amazing what did you get jump rings to go with it okay so we've got one two three four so for you jose i will slow it back down again for you so prep making sure we've got those jump rings open and closed they really just having a pile ready to go makes such a difference <coughs> oh, excuse me i am so sorry i hate coughing especially when i'm teaching I've, i can't do anything about it if you can hear the quiet purring in the background it is of course my little french bulldog she is absolutely shattered she went out for a nice little wander last night with my husband and my son, they took him to uh, town to the one of the in um, Inverness. We've got like Millennium Square, which is kind of just 
off town is sort of in the center and then you actually have what we call town and there are two kind of christmas markets there or sort of like mini market in the the off town part and he took them there so they are absolutely shattered i did in rhodium nice nice can't wait to see your makes trish definitely share tag me i love seeing what everyone gets up to i think it's fantastic okie dokie so a couple more here okay so we just wanted some prepared because it just makes it a bit quicker all right then so let's have a little look so i'm going to just go back i'm going to pick up so I'm going to take an open, open gold, and I'm going to add on four closed. Oh, where did I put you? Come on, come out, come out, wherever you are. I have managed to lose my jump rings. Tell me how I have managed to lose them nearly. Ah. That tool is very handy to work with. It 100% is, Jose, you can get them. On the Totally Beads website, they're fantastic. It's a fantastic tool. Um, it really does save time as well. And it's very inexpensive. Okay, right. So one, two, three, four. Four closed jump rings add to my open jump ring. Just to point out, I don't think I actually said I am using the four mil in a diameter which is the six mil outer diameter so the smallest of the two is what i'm using okay i forgot to mention that so i am using the because you're in the kit you'll get a, a pack of small and then slightly larger so we are using the small ones okay okay so i've got a simple two and two two four six remember the rule of six two four six top pair opens out to the side and drops down and then with your finger and your thumb just give it a little push up and it should almost open out the top ones already for you look for that rainbow and take your new jump rings and go straight through the top and collect those top two you do get a pdf to show you this as well excuse me right remember our rule what do we do everything should be doubled up no single jump rings in this one hi diane can you see the difference between the silver and the rhodium to make it difference i will show you in a moment you can see the difference diane yeah so let me show you there's some rhodiums and then here are some silvers she says it's it's not a massive difference it's kind of like a low and a lot a low and a highlight but you can there is definitely a difference so here is a, a, a section that's been made up in the rhodium so you can see it's quite a, a little bit more of a and I, I would almost call it like an aluminium metal like an aluminium gray um, color if that makes sense <coughs> good morning brenda oh no problem at all nice to see you so i've got that section there and this becomes number one of my next link so i now need to add another single jump ring and attach two close so one and two and close remember no solo jump rings so that black jump ring needs to be doubled up one and two so now we we still have half of a knot and then we have our two four six and we do exactly the same open that out drop it down and it will push up there's that little rainbow one and two and there we have four links. Okay, 
so I take off my little handle this is just a larger jump ring again so one two three four okay so we are nearly nearly ready to rumble um I do have some rhodium pieces made up here actually that I can do to show you the earring afterwards we just take this off of here and this off of here There we go. Um, fix that in a minute. Right. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so choose your large gemstone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the serpentine because I think that's a beautiful bead. Now, as you know, you will get findings and you will get in your findings. They will be um, some head pins and some eye pins. So you will need an eye pin for the main bead and then a head pin for the um, for the sort of the charm, the drop. OK, so let's grab in some beads here. Now, I don't have any white uh, eye pins to hand, so I'm being a bit cheeky and cutting off the top of the eye pin, head pin. But there's my. So I'm just going to form an eye loop here. Just doing that little loop at the end here. Pop on your bead. Right up nice and close to that loop. And then I'm just going to, with my hand, push that back. So it's a nice sharp angle. At, oops, sorry. Push that head pin back or the eye pin back. So it's a nice sharp angle to the edge of that bead. Okay. Trim it down a little bit if you need to. And then roll that over. So again, you can see I've started. I've taken my pliers out and I'm going to come back in and tidy that up. So I'm not going to force it around in one go. And there is your eye pin either side. Okay. And you want them both to be in that same direction. You don't want one facing that way and one facing that way. They both need to be in the same direction. And there's your prepped bead. And we can also go ahead at this point and take one of the smaller beads. Okay, pop it onto another head pin and do a wrapped loop. Pliers are in, bend it back. I've got that little gap just there. Pliers back in. Head pin over. Let me lift this up a little bit. Head pin over. I like to get a good wrap on my eye pit on my wrap loops. I like my the wire of my head pin is going to almost be going up against the bottom of my pliers. That should give you a nice tidy wrapped loop. Snip. Now comes the really fun part where we put it all together. So I'm going to have a little look. So because I've got the end of my jump rings are ending in black, I'm going to connect them with the champagne gold, I think. So now I'm coming in for the six mil beads or the six mil inner, eight mil outer. One, two, two, four, six. seven eight so i'm going to have eight now you can use one or two beads i'm going to do two to join them together so all of these large beads will be open uh, large jump rings will be opened let's just open them super quickly okay we go now we want to put it all together here comes the fun part we're going to do some connecting so let's move all this out of the way so it doesn't upset my camera okay so what i'm going to do is connect two of these units together with 
um, a jump ring. So I'm going to take my jump ring here. I'm going to add that here, add that here. We'll add the bead afterwards with a charm. So just the end, the last two loose jump rings of the links are connecting and close. So we've got that there. And I'm going to add another one. Now you can Mobius it if you want to, but I'm just going to have them sitting next to each other, not Mobius. One and two. So just doubling it up. I feel it looks nice as part of the look. So that's one. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So with the other set of links, one and two, connected. And then again. We have those connected so we've got one and two okay now you can play about with this and i did look at only having three links on it but it was a little bit tight so i went with four and thought that the movement was a little bit nicer so what we want to do now is if i place this jump this stone in here it's going to run because it's a large bead what we want to do is connect and to connect and to connect so we need the jump rings here to each side are going to go through these two jump rings. Come on, there we go. It's going to collect the eye pin here, and then it's going to collect these two jump rings. So it's actually going to collect two jump rings, the eye pin, and then two jump rings. So let's do that. Two jump rings. An eye pin and two jump rings, and then we close, and then we do the same again. I like to double up, so two jump rings, the eye pin, and two jump rings, and close. That's one bit. Okay, now you can also at this point, if you wanted to. On this one here, I can go ahead and add another jump ring. That will be what we kind of hang the pendant from. And that's just going to collect those two large jump rings. When she wants to, there we go. And then the same again here. So jump ring to just make sure you get the direction of the chain to sit nicely because if it if it twists it can affect the way it sits okay one and then double it up so through through and through okay and then finally take your small jump another small jump ring a four mil add on your drop and then hold your whole piece up so you can see you've got that tension how you want it to be and then you want to add that is a lie i tell you what we did wrong we haven't done anything wrong this jump ring doesn't go here it doesn't go there there's a reason i knew there was a reason ignore that right so you've got that there so sorry scrap me adding that jump ring there and it's fine everything else is right so you can see here we want to add the tension to these sections here this point here and this point here now you could add this into a bracelet and actually have that or as a connector have chain either side so what i'm going to do is take my large jump ring now and come over to oops gosh it's alive the large jump rings that are connecting just the two chain together without the eye pin connected. So just there. And close, sorry. And then you'll see when you hold it like this, you've got this kind of shape. And it does work. You don't necessarily need that extra bead on the end, but I just like that tension. So I'm going to take the small jump ring, add on my drop. 
again I'm holding it to, to make sure it's going to sit how I want it to sit and when you just put your jump ring on and make sure you're putting it on in the right direction that's right so see how when I added that it's pulled that tension how I want it to go come on camera there we go all my chains sitting in the right direction and close and there you have your pendant ready to simply be added onto a chain and that tension is just having that bead gives a great tension but imagine if you had it sat there with some rosary link in either side that's going to be great it's just i like having that tension to draw it how it's meant to sit and it will naturally sit like this so that is your romanoff pendant design um i am sort of hitting the time limit now but i just wanted to show you if i very quickly explain with the earrings exactly the same but you only need one link either side one link and you will connect one link take your larger jump ring and you'll connect your eye pin shepherd hook and your other link and then you'll do the same on the other side so the earrings are done exactly the same just on a smaller scale you only need two either side and it frames that bead um i did actually add an extra jump ring to the top here just for that extra movement and again visually i feel it ties in but hopefully that will make sense does anyone have any questions at all <laughs> thank you um are we all okay with that hopefully that made sense for everybody um i didn't have time to show you the earrings as such but they as i said they're exactly the same you just need two instead of four and um in fact let me very quickly just compile it together for you let me take one apart and this is what's great about these designs is you can actually mix and match them so you can take them apart and you can add different elements so let me just show you very very quickly with the parts taking them apart how you would make this um all come together and then we'll be good to go so if you've got any questions now's the time okay so we'll very quickly show you so for an earring oh thank you for a great make i like chain while i do looking forward to trying something different oh amazing looks easy enough can't wait to make some let me very quickly for the benefit show you you've got two links eye pin shepherd hooks you simply take a large jump ring add your link your eye pin your link and then if you are adding a shepherd hook or you've got one attached to a finding add that now and then close and again you can double this up i'm not going to double it up now but you can fold it nicely over your bead so it's sitting how it wants to sit take your second bead go through again collect 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 and then you can just drop your charm directly on or you can add your jump ring with your charm directly on double them up keep them single however you want but that's how you compile it really nice and quick um but really super effective oh amazing well, i hope you've all enjoyed it i will be back soon um i will just very quickly let me just show you what i'm making for the bead club today i'm gonna have to kind of try and show it like this i'm making a christmas ball ball um i will see you all very very soon uh any problems let me know i would also love to know uh, uh see everybody's makes as always i love to see what you all get up to see you all soon have a lovely rest of your week everybody thanks for joining me bye